Hey guys, so today uh, what I wanted to do was just a little tutorial on um, just a simple, easy, um, kind of like a smoky eye. Um, I chose purples just because uh, they pair really well with brown eyes, but um, um, so if you want to know how to do this step by step, then just stay with me. So what I actually just did off camera is um, I applied my foundation, but I, at first I applied my um, Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This will keep the eyeshadow on all day. Um, it'll prevent creasing. And then next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, um, it's the Laura Mercier uh, Caviar Stick, and it's in Plum. So I'm just going to get my mirror ready here to supply a little bit of that. I usually like to just do a uh, kind of like a thick line like this and then I will go in with a shadow brush it looks like that um, but so I'm just gonna smudge this a tad gonna work it all the way up into the lid but not cover the whole lid because we're going to be putting shadow there in a minute and with these um, you really have like about um, probably about a minute worth of working time before this is what the shape that you kind of want to look for you really just want all of that blended okay so once you have all that blended we're just gonna go in with a nice silver shadow this is the um i like to call it the bare essential shadow stick but um if you have the um like double-ended precision brush which is this one from Bare Essentials. It has like the pencil on one end and then the shader on the other. This, you really just want to make sure that you tap off the excess because if you don't, then um, you're going to get all that fall under here and then you're going to have to redo your under eye concealer. So then this is going to go kind of right on top of the purple. And these are highly pigmented too, so really make sure you knock off all the excess. So this is technically our crease color per se. And then I just um, flip over and... Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to grab my... Um, it's the MAC 224. Looks like this. It's um, it's a crease brush. It, you can take this shadow right here. It's Passion. Um, and this is going to go right in the crease to kind of help blend out the uh, silver color that I just did. Um, this is what you should have so far. So then after um, the passion that we just did, we're actually gonna, just going to do a little bit of liner. And with the Bare Essentials uh, eyeshadows, they all come like this, the majority of them. They're them wet, then they look more metallic-y, more highly pigmented, um, perfect for going out. So I'm just going to take a smudge brush. Um, I believe I just got that at CVS, like this. And then we're just going to kind of work it in the cap. And again, just to make it look even, um, I am I am stopping in the um, same area as well, just so they look even top to bottom. Next, just to make sure everything is all blended, um, you can just take your pencil brush, make sure it's wiped off really clean, make sure there's no um, silver shadow on it, and just kind of blend this line a tad, just to diffuse it just a little bit, just to make it look a little bit smoky. Okay, so next we just want to make sure that um, our crease color is nice and blended. Um, we definitely don't want that harsh edge. So I'm actually going to use a champagne color. Um, the one that I'm using is this one, and it's ironically called champagne. Uh, this is actually, I got this from Aerie. Uh, it's Aerie by American Eagle. Uh, but um, like, you know, like I said, any type of champagne color that you just happen to have on hand just will work fine for this. So I'm just going to use it again with my 224. Just get a little on the brush, tap off, and then just work it up on the brow bone. Really just making sure that um, the passion line or like the crease color is nice and diffuse. So you just don't want that harsh edge. Then it's just not going to look blended. And then I'm actually just going to take the champagne color again. I'm going to go back in with my smudge brush, but just make sure that everything is just nice and wipe off, wiped off. And I'm just going to do the uh, champagne color uh, right in the um, in a corner of the eye as well. Just 
just going to pop it right here. Just to help open up the eye a bit, just because we are doing a lot of dark colors. So we really want, just want to make sure we don't close out the eye too much. Okay. Next, I'm just going to apply a little bit of mascara. But for this, I'm actually just going to use the Hypno Doll Lash. It's in black. Um, it's just basically, um, it's tapered up top and then it's kind of um, fatter on the bottom. It's really good for detailed work. It's um, curl separation and I find that it actually just gives my lashes just a little bit of volume as well. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of that. And then um, don't forget the bottom lashes as well. Okay, so next um, I'm just going to reapply some bronzer just to kind of warm up the face a little bit. Um, and then for the bronzer, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Dune Bronze. Just going to apply it. Just kind of focus, but I'm just focusing kind of like on the jawline, underneath the chin, um, towards the hairline. Just kind of want to like contour the face a bit. down the t-zone just to make sure everything's even okay so then next what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, apply just a little bit of blush uh, when you do a blush and you have a lot going on with your eyes you kind of want to just keep it soft and natural so for the blush that I'm using it's the Lancome um, Bronze Rose that's what it looks like it's one of my favorites and I'm just going to use just an angled blush brush. Uh, it's from Bare Essentials, but whatever you have on hand is fine. <laughs> just smile a tad. And then just working it back towards the temples, focusing just a little bit on the apples. Kind of down a tad. And then again, focusing it towards the temples. A little bit on the apples, and then I like to do it just a little bit on the nose as well. Okay, so then um, something extra I usually like to do when I'm going out, um, I usually like to just apply just a little bit of like a shimmery uh, powder or like an illuminator. Um, the one that I really like, it's just, it's from Sephora and it's just from the Sephora Professional Collection and then the color that I use is the rosy pink one. It looks like this. I'm just going to put it just on the cheekbones here, kind of on top of my blush and I'm actually just going to use a stippling brush. Um, this is the Sephora brand really good stippling brush and it actually it makes a really good foundation brush too just gonna smile kind of just focus it here then once more and then whatever left you have on the brush just you can just go down the nose up here right by the um, eyebrows and then on the keep it spell as well. All right, so then for the lips, um, usually when you do an extreme eye, you kind of want to just take it down with the lips too. You just want to definitely do something uh, natural. Um, you can just do like a little bit of color on it, but I wouldn't do like um, too much. So for I'm just gonna actually just do a gloss, and this is the Laura Mercier Bare Naked. That's what it looks like. Just gonna apply a little bit of that. Don't forget the top lip. And that is the look. So questions, comments, concerns, just leave it on the comment box below. Um, make sure you check out my Facebook page and like me. Um, pictures of this look and the products that I use will be on my blog, uh, makeupidentic.wordpress.com. Um, and that is it. So have a great night and good luck. Bye.